Hello Dolphin fans, this is Juan with your Dolphin News of the Day. Um, and today I'm going to talk about Ryan Tannehill. And as anybody can see right now, he's going to be the starter for 2018. And I'm really excited about this as long as the knee holds up and everything's good on that. I'm excited about it because in 2016, um, when uh, his first, first year of Adam Gaze, when he came over, he really took the chains off of Ryan Tannehill. You know, he took him off. He trusted him with the low percentage throws. He let him throw and stress the field. And he was answering on everything that he was doing um, that Adam Gaze was giving him to do. Right. Um, and it, it looked like he was turning the quarter, like he was uh, elevating his game each week, each week that went by and um, a- answering, um, you know, uh, a few questions along the way, you know, especially with uh, the Bef- the Buffalo Bills game on third and six in the fourth quarter, the game pretty much on the line. He throws it about 20 yards to Kenny Stills and Kenny still does the- Kenny Stills does the rest. But uh, it's a low percentage throw on third and six, which wouldn't have happened uh on it when philbin was around you know um and so that was exciting to see and then you know he every week after that he just kept you know proving things and and just um taking it to the next level you know uh and right when he was on the cusp of of answering um you know if he was able to go take the team to the playoffs and win in the playoffs right um take over a game when he was right there about to start answering it uh, that's when Calais Campbell hit him in the knee, you know, and that was very, it was disappointing because of that, because he was right there. It was towards the end of the season. We were going to go to the playoffs. You know, we were about to find out, you know, and then, you know, when you're right there so close and something like that happens, you know, it's, uh, that hurts, you know, uh, but you know, I'm excited that he comes, that he's going to be able to come back, um, you know, especially for that first season, he was still studying the playbook, still learning the playbook. I'm pretty sure he knows it uh, front and back. Now, uh, he does have to execute, execute some repetitions on them, you know, uh, which makes it exciting as long as, you know, uh, the knee holds up and he's able to do uh, those things again. It should be a very excited season. You should see some things that you haven't seen in a while. Um, you know, uh, that Marino days, you know, <clears throat> and, uh, and I'm not saying that he's going to be like Dan Marino, but an exciting offense like Dan Marino. Right. So, uh, and especially with the way that Adam Gaze put together the team, you know, getting, um, getting, uh, Danny Amendola, Albert Wilson, uh, you know, of course losing Jarvis Landry is a big blow, but, uh, replacing him with Danny Amendola and Albert Wilson, two guys that are high percentage guys on third down receptions, it gets you pretty close, right? And uh, also, you know, Albert Wilson does does run a four four, so we got a little faster there. Uh, and of course, you got Jakeem Grant coming back, um, which you know, last year he got a couple plays to be able to prove something on a say down downtime because we're still in the playoffs, almost almost towards the end. But you know, he answered. He answered. He got, uh, especially with that Kansas City reception that he ran over two guys, right? So, uh, of course, and of course, you got Devontae Parker, right? You got Devontae Parker. You got the new uh, the new draft tight end, Mike Kaziki. You know, 6'6", 41-inch vertical leap. That's a nice option to have. Okay, you got Kenny Stills on, only getting better, right? Um, you know, and uh, the offensive line, the way, you know, they just lined it up. Gil Gore, sit-in, Larry Mitoso coming in for his third year, second year at, at left tackle. Uh, Jawan James coming back, you know, with his fifth year with the Dolphins. Uh, he was actually underrated before he got hurt. He was doing great uh, that season. Uh, and then you got a bat- you got a battle out at right guard between um, Davis, Larson, uh, Asiata, you know, and it's a three, three. It should be a three man battle for that. So that that was going to be exciting. So I think this um this might be you know uh close to the best or one of the best offensive lines that Ryan Tannehill has had in his career. And you got to remember the first three years he got sacked more than any other quarterback in the NFL. Um, and he survived those. I, I was surprised how he survived some of those years the way he was getting hit. Right. Uh, got frustrated one year, just started running. Right. Started running for first downs, um, you know, so I'm excited. I'm excited about it. Excited about Ryan Tannehill coming back. I hope the knee it gets healed up great. And um, and he could he could continue on where he left off, hopefully. 
Um, but that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, you got any comments, you know, uh, put them down below. If you want to subscribe, I'll try to put some more videos out. Thank you.